Greetings. My name is Lin Chin Chen Chata. I, I am. Yes. I am representing the Zhondai Council from the Mayan population. You have requested that we uh, speak to you about our part in the ascension of Earth. Welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm Max. Greetings, Max. We are aware of who you are. Um, I guess we have about 15 minutes. Maybe the key question is, what should we expect in the next few years and what would be your involvement? Our involvement is that we have sent our king, well, he was a prince at the time, to your planet to help with the ascension. We have sent many people from Maya to become Earth-born aliens, if you will, mm -hmm. so that we may hold the planet light a little better from the planet's surface. Therefore, you will be noting that some of our people are there. Some of them know that they are there for this purpose, and some have not yet awakened. However, Tosca, who you've probably hold, heard of, our king, my yes. brother, is already there. Uh huh. And what for? We are there to bring enlightenment to the people when the time is right. The time is not yet for him to rise up or for the others who are to rise up to come into their greatest um, heights of understanding and personality. But we are there nevertheless, and we are making sure that the light is being held and sent out across your planet in greater abundance. Mm -hmm. What's your prediction for the next few years? I believe Al said it very well. There is going to be an event. We're not sure exactly which one it will be. Mm -hmm. There are several mounting on your planet. There is a political event mounting. There is a geolo geological event mounting mm -hmm. as well. There are other things that could happen in the meantime, depending on human decisions. Now, but all of these things coming together will cause the awakening of many people and also the changing of thought processes across the planet. Um, so, are you working mostly through people who incarnate on Earth, or will be like real visitors from your place, in, in your bodies? Both, actually. <clears throat> we are working closely with those that are part of our society, that are now there, and being born into your society through human birth. It must happen that way, so that they can, ex can be there legally. You humans are allowed to be in their own planet but as mayans we are not allowed to set foot on your planet without permission therefore we have set it up that we can have human born or alien born humans with our dna involved now yes there are many things that from outside the planet that are also involved with your ascension. Information is given daily to your people in one form or another to help formulate thought processes that are positive and that will move forward in ascension style. However, there is still much negativity in the channeling areas and it must be stopped in some way too much negative information in channeled areas is causing people to doubt positivity as a whole. 
you see they are saying that things such as goodness are to not be trusted. They say that negativity can appear as positivity, which is actually true, but they should be able to discern which is which by the emotions that they feel when they are with that particular entity or information. Uh, when people are born uh, with um, Mayan soul and Mayan genetics, how can they tell that it is so? Is there any uh, symptoms? There are a couple that are walk-ins. If you know what a walk-in is, but they are sharing DNA and thought processes. They understand what is happening because of the diverse things that are happening to their bodies and brains. There are others that know that they are from Maya because they have been told so, and they have been given the evidences. There are different ways for us to infiltrate your planet for this purpose of ascension, it is a positive thing and not a bad thing, but we are doing what we can to be legal. So how can an individual without outside help uh, look at their qualities and tell if these are Mayan qualities? What are the Mayan qualities? Pleiadian slash Mayan qualities are very, they are disconnected from harshness in many senses. They cannot handle harsh activities or anyone being harsh around them without feeling some kind of consequence. They are friendly, loving, kind, and are affected by negativity rather extensively. So they must learn to think and act positively at all times to stay positive in their life form. Mm -hmm. Now, there are other things to be considered. They are very intelligent. They are also empathic. They are also able to have some psychic abilities but not too great yet. They are still discovering these and opening them up from uh, ways that humans open up their psychic abilities. It has to be that way because they are on the third dimension and they cannot use fourth dimensional means to bring forth uh, what is necessary. They must use third dimensional ideas and ideologies and thought processes to gain their psychic accesses. Is there any physical qualities which could be noticeable in, in uh, people? In that, some, again? There are those that have actually started to change and look like Pleiadians, but we this is not what we are going for. We we have stopped that process because it is not appropriate at this time. There are some that have shinier skin than others or that might start showing ridges in the, in the head and forehead that are not quite exactly human. But you would not notice it immediately unless you looked very hard. Can now, you show... Yes. Can you show the ridges on the head? Where are they located? They would be from here back mm -hmm. and across here. Wow. Okay. But what most experience is the shininess around the sides of the head right here. They will note that their, their skin is a slightly iridescent. It does not last forever but it may be there for weeks at a time. Thank you. Um, 
Are you hosting uh, Earth, Earth-born humans in your planets? We will be receiving them once first contact is established. We will have them on our planet most welcome. Wow. <clears throat> so not yet. Not yet. There are, there are some that are volunteering, but the reason for what we are doing is for the ascension purpose. There is no reason for humans to be born here for that purpose. Our ascension is, has happened and we are in fourth dimension already. Our next ascension will not happen for a while yet. And so there is no need for any help at this time. Oh, I meant uh, the human colony activities, like Gork Fitnir has hosting uh, human settlements on their worlds, and I wonder if you might want to join that activity and host some uh, human settlements in your worlds. We do do conferencing with some of these humans that you speak of, mm -hmm. and we are aware of the human colonies and of those that are from your planet that have been taken many years ago. They are still very welcome, and actually we did not agree with them being taken at the time, but it has seemed to work out for the best, even though we were against it at first. I just wonder if you could uh, take some of us and uh, train um train in your places and also exchanging cultural information so you understand us better we understand you better we would love to exchange cultural information it is something that we do now and then anyway our culture is multifaceted just as yours is but we have the Jondai council which is in charge of our planet instead of having many different leaders that come together. Our council rules the planet. Uh, which planet is that? Maya. Is it Maya planet of the Maya star? Correct. What number would it be from the star? The planet number is three. Uh-huh. And four and six. Uh-huh. Um, what is your connection to Mayans uh, from human history on Earth, on, on American continent? We do have some connections with them. We had, when we were there, we told them we were from Maya, and some liked the word and established it on you, into your culture as well. So it wasn't exactly your culture? Not exactly. We weren't there to change your culture. We were there to educate about how to survive. They were going through a great disease at that time. And when we arrived, we wanted to help. And this is not written or not recorded that they were going through a great time of, of disease, but we were able to help them get better and move forward. However, after we left, they took upon themselves human sacrifices, which is not something that we brought to them, but they saw us as a form of gods, and we did not really intend for that to happen. We only wanted to save that particular society from total elimination. Now, Eventually, they did disperse because of certain activities and certain things that their people believed were happening, but they did not disappear completely. They moved into Central America and Mexico. Right. Yeah, there is still uh, many genetic minds in Mexico, and they mixed with the uh, Spanish population, yes. Yes. Um, did they incarnate back to Maya? 
There are a few that have done so. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about our economy? We are not really concerned about your economy uh, as much as we are about the different things that are happening, the events that are happening before the economy collapses. Uh huh. That is a secondary concern to us, actually. Uh, can you describe your culture? What's, what's, uh, what stands out about my culture? We are still interested in maintaining the king and the queen hierarchy, although we are run by the Jondai Council. Many of our uh, continents have a king and a queen to help them govern themselves. It does go by family relation unless that family becomes unworthy in some way, but that hasn't happened in at least 280 Earth years. Thank you. Um, <coughs> I have a few minutes left. I wanted to ask a personal question. What's my relationship with my culture? You do have Pleiadian within you, and you sense and have some of our traits very strongly within you. The one is the un inability to be, feel harshness. However, you do not like to feel the harshness, it, but it does come out because you have to displace it. Um, do you have a past life on Maya? I would have to check that. I am not in a place to see past lives at this moment. Mm. I'm chanting my own chants, channel chants. I will give you a sample, and I wonder if it could be Mayan. That is not Mayan. However, it does have some words from the Mayan culture in it. It is actually Indian in nature from your planet, but the Indian uh, language came also from different areas. Of it was integrated with the language spoken at the time on your planet. There are some integrated words within this language, and we, we, we do have some uh, credit for that. Uh, for the closing, can you give us a chant in Mayan language? Of course. Thank you. Well, remember this. This is my colloquialism of the Mayan language. There are many different languages here on Maya that are Pleiadian in nature. And we also use the galactic languages as well. Mm -hmm. But this is one of the languages that we use uh, when we do rituals. For the most part, we are telepathic, but this is still the language that we use. I see. <laughs> Thank you. Do, do you want to give a translation? Mm -hmm. We wish your people all the best. We have prayed for you for many centuries, for this time of your ascension. And now, as we are responsible for bringing it into a greater and more applicable understanding, we are happy to serve. Oh, thank you. Um, do you mind giving us a bit of the melody of your, of music, of melody, of songs, of a chant of your word, world? I am not much of a singer, okay. but I can give you an example of something that we might, you might 
understand as a song pattern. Thank you. Thank you much. Can you translate? Oh, uh, it was a children's song uh -huh. that, that my uh, daughter-in-law, well, sister-in-law sings to her children. It means um, brave children of the of the place of the of the universe. Uh, hold out your hands and receive what is yours from God. Wow. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Let's meet again soon. Would you like to speak again? Of course. Very well, then. Have a very good day. And I believe they say namaste in your plan. Thank you. Namaste.